What's going on world? It's your girl Emmy here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. And yeah, I know I kind of took a while to finish the rising signs. I should hopefully be finishing today. I'm gonna sit here and do all the things that I need to do. But yeah, I do have a little bit of a cold. That's why I haven't really been posting. Um, so just bear with me bear with me but before i go any further you know what to do since you clicked on my channel you might as well hit that like button and hit that subscribe button while you're at it you know what i'm saying it validates me and lets me know that you like me so yeah let me know that you like me oh also um i just started an etsy account i'm selling candles so there is a link in my description box to check out those candles so if you could you know check that out too that'd be great but let's just get into this video but yeah your rising sign is determined by your first house which basically means placement in your first house and um that means where the sun was at the time of your birth each house has a statement the first house is i am so everything that the first house has to do with is who you are your identity it's how and who you feel that you are in terms of when it comes to presenting yourself out there to the world. This also means how people first see you, how you're perceived, the first impressions, and like it's how you present yourself and is the first initial energy that somebody would get when they meet you. Your rising sign also does have a little bit of impact on your physical appearance or like how you you know, put yourself together or even physical like attributes. Astro Finesse, he made a really good example of this where he described your moon, sun and rising like this. So think of like a house and you see the outside of the house, right? So you're, the outside of the house would be your rising sign. It's what people see when they first look at you. Then you would go inside a house. When you go inside a house, when you go inside a house, let's say you're in the living room, right? So that's like the general energy of a person right so that would be your sun sign then your moon sign would be your bedroom not everybody gets to see your bedroom your bedroom is you know, those emotional and intimate aspects of yourself so think of that analogy when it comes to moon sun and rising your rising sign also determines your chart ruler and basically what a chart ruler is is the ruling planet of whatever your rising sign is which means that you would have those general characteristics attached to your persona and presentation when it comes to the, the world it's basically like dominant characteristics of how you present yourself so if somebody had like a mars ruler which means that they would have an aries or a scorpio rising they would come off a bit more intense very determined very sure of themselves type of energy because mars um, is associated with all of those characteristics aka scorpio and aries is so um yeah that's your chart ruler Okay, so the next sign is Capricorn. Uh, when you think about a Capricorn rising, these are very ambitious, headstrong people, okay? A Capricorn rising, they know what they want. They're planners, very practical people, and they're not afraid of hard work. Like, these are very hardworking people. They know that anything that is worth having is going to take work. Um, which is very ab ab admirable, admirable, something like that. But yes, they are very driven and practical people, level-headed until provoked, <laughs> until provoked. They're very, oh, I'm gonna do it myself type of people. They don't like to ask for help. They're very long-term goal-driven people, which is what I meant by they're not afraid of hard work because they know that anything, yeah, like I said, anything worth having is you're gonna have to put in the work. So yeah, they're they're going to do what they need to do to make what they want happen. Um, I feel like if you have Capricorn rising, um, you're pretty destined for success, whatever it is that you want to achieve and build for yourself. Because Capricorns are all about status. They're all about achievement. They're all about moving up in the world, um, whether it's financially or just like for work. So yeah you have that like hard working mindset and like you just you have all these goals and like you make your goal the thing i really appreciate about capricorn is they're not like oh i make a goal and then it happens and they just do nothing like no like they're constantly like okay i made this goal now how do i make the next goal and like they're they just they're just all about more and more and more um and not in like a crazy way but just like a I know my worth and I can do, I'm capable of so much, which is what I appreciate about them. Now, 
these are pretty introverted people and they can kind of come off mean sometimes it's not that they're mean it's just that they're they're just like they can come off kind of cold like uh capricorn rising would definitely have a resting bitch face um you know which is just like a straight face but and they could come off kind of cold because they're not really like emotional people especially if like capricorn just like scorpios they they take a while before warming up to you they're really going to assess you capricorns are very intentional with who they keep around and they're not going to let just anybody into their life yeah, they're really gonna assess, like they, yeah, they know that the time is valuable, like time is money, like Capricorn, when you think about a Capricorn rising, time is money. If you're not gonna add to my life, I don't want you around. If you're not gonna help me build this legacy and this empire, I don't want you around. And that's what I really what I respect about um, a Scorpio and a Capricorn place, like rising especially, is they're very intentional with who they keep, keep around them. So that could come off cold or that could come off as a while like it could take you know a few months before they even feel comfortable really like letting you in to their world their life yeah you just have to earn their trust you have to earn their respect they are about their business they are about building okay building is the word i keep using because they are going to build what they want <laughs> for themselves um and they're going to put in that work like that hard working like they will put lay that strong foundation they're all about laying a strong foundation because if this foundation isn't strong it's not gonna last the cookie gonna crumble okay you know what i'm saying <laughs> want to be successful and they're going to be successful because what does it take to be successful it's that determination that dedication that building that strong foundation and i feel like that mindset is ingrained in you in them in you i don't know if you're watching me as a capricorn rising or for capricorn rising but like you're just you're just about the grind and you know not everybody is gonna get that and some people might find that like oh you never want to make time for me like you're working and, da, 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 and it's just like i'm building something for you um, i feel like after the first saturn retrograde for you which you would be like after you turn 27 28 or 29 um once you have your first saturn return like i feel like things are going to be it's gonna definitely be crazy saturn returns are never fun but I feel like things are going to work out a lot better for you. I feel like Capricorns are, Capricorn rising is definitely, you are going to be, you'll be able to really enjoy life the older you get because the older you get, those foundation and those bricks have been built. So now you get to reap what you sowed. You know what I'm saying? So that just makes you feel a lot more like, oh yeah, let's relax. Let's, let's do this. Let's do that. Like, you know, I earned what I, what I, I earned this time. Like right now. Y'all, you're still trying to earn or like you're still trying to build that whatever it is that you want for yourself, you know? So does that make sense? I feel like I'm rambling now, but yeah, there, you guys are money-minded people, okay? Money-minded people, time is money. Money is time. Money is time, you know what I'm saying? Don't waste their time. If you're somebody that's watching this and you're interested in the Capricorn Rising, don't waste their time. Don't get in the way of their grind. Support their dreams, their ambitions, okay? This is gonna happen they're intentional with who there's in their life and they're intentional with what they do with their time they like to follow rules they're pretty punctual people yeah, i guess it depends on like your son and what other planets you may have in your first house but uh yeah like you like to follow rules i don't want to make you sound like a stickler but i mean you could be you could be a stickler um but yeah you just like to follow rules you feel like rules are there for a reason rules and regulations so you follow them y'all are very like resilient people Another reason why I say that Saturn, like you're gonna get like more loosened up through time and through age is because Saturn puts a lot of like roadblocks in your life, especially if you're, since you're, you know, Saturn dominant, um, being a Capricorn rising. So you might find there's roadblocks in making your goals and dreams happen. I don't really feel like that's something that would keep you from making what you want happen, to happen for yourself happen. Because like I said, you guys aren't afraid to put in that work and like you kind of have tunnel vision when it comes to your goals. I did just want to highlight that like you might feel like there's a lot of like trials and tribulations and turbulence in making those goals happen for yourself. But like you're not the type of person to like be scared oh like just to give up you know and just be like oh my god well like it didn't work like oh i tried to start a business and it didn't work like you would just like you know reassess and figure out 
how to make it work. You wouldn't just be like, oh my God, I would never do it again because the first time didn't work out. That's just not you. But yeah, Saturn could have even made you have a hard childhood. You might have felt like you had to grow up or like be a parent. Maybe you were the oldest and like really take care of your other sibling. Maybe you had to think about money um, at a young age or like, I don't know, balancing money, your parents, different things like that. Which is what I think one of the reasons why I said like you relax more as the older you get. Um, because things just kind of start working in your favor like the older you get in life. Some physical characteristics of a Capricorn rising, I would say they have very strong teeth, like strong teeth. Maybe they have big teeth or just really like prominent teeth. They may even have like a strong jaw bone. So like, you know, maybe they're cheekbones. Like think like, uh, what's that vampire's name? Edward, Cull uh, Edward Cullen, right? From Twilight. You know how he has like such a like a very like he has like a very Capricorn face. I don't know if he is a Capricorn. Robert Pattinson. Um, they might even have like really thick hair. Resting bitch face, definitely. They probably look serious as fuck all the time. But deep down, like once you get to know a Capricorn, Capricorns are very goofy people, They're like silly. If they fuck with you, you get to see that side. Not everybody gets to see that side. You really have to be, you have to be close with them to see that. And I think that applies with any Capricorn placement. Uh, moon, sun, moon, or rising. They just have to fuck with you to show you that. I think one thing that a Capricorn needs to learn in this life is emotions and vulnerability is not a weakness. Emotions and vulnerability is not a weakness. So, you know, really not keeping things bottled up, finding a way to express yourself, you know, communicating your emotions and what you're going through with the people that are closest to you. I think that is very important and to not be afraid to do that. Um, but yeah, that's everything that I have about a Capricorn rising. Um, I hope that resonated. If it didn't, if it did, let me know. If I forgot anything, um, comment down below. And thanks for watching this video. Please um, subscribe or thumbs up if this resonated. Okay, bye.